Okay, what we have on the bench today is a generic alarm clock. Probably bought it at your local Walgreens or whatever. Probably for twenty dollars. The problem with this clock is not the display, as it's showing here on on screen with the camera. It's because the camera for refresh rate is playing games, but uh, that's not the problem. The problem is the alarm on/off switch. Sometimes it engages the alarm, sometimes it doesn't, and you can tell that by the icon, the little LED down on the, the bottom left here. And the problem is when you when you turn it on, you'll you'll set the alarm and go to bed and wake up the next morning, and the alarm won't go off because sometimes it shuts itself off because there's a, either one of a couple things. The, the slide switch is worn, the contacts are worn, or the contacts are loose from sliding it off and on. Or it could be dirty contacts. So it's going to be one of those three things. So I'm going to take it apart, and the switch does feel kind of odd. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe the back of the switch has uh, little, have little fingers that... that, that uh, claw over the back of the switch and I kind of think that maybe they loosened up so what it is is the back of the contacts are, are, are wobbling on, on the actual switch and we'll, we're going to determine if it's that or just dirty contacts so we're going to crack this open and, and see what it is alright I've got the alarm clock cracked open and it's uh, cheaper than I thought it would be it's not an actual uh, enclosed switch it's actually a circuit board with the switch contacts on the circuit board and uh, I don't like this this is very cheap um, I guess that's what you get for a, you know uh, a, a cheap one from Walgreens but uh, I think I did find the problem the contacts are a little bit worn on the circuit board not too too bad but you can see where they've been scraping Let's see if I get a better picture kind of see the four points I've been scraping there, 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 and there and those four points are actually connected by this little slide switch here which goes back and forth this way now what I noticed when I pulled it apart that one of the little tabs has broken off on this side and see how it's got a little spudge of plastic holding this side on now this side is floating so sometimes it rises up out of the hole which causes it to move and uh, yeah right there it's that's not lined up at all so I broke off that little tiny piece of plastic like this side off of this side so uh, this is kind of tricky because what I'm going to end up doing is I'm probably going to end up just hot gluing the sides of this and over maybe over the top to the switch itself so it doesn't float around and I might try and just slightly finesse these contacts up a little bit higher so they make better contact to the circuit board and that should cure the issue um, for now so you might buy some extra time with the clock so I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on that and we'll come back and see how, uh, how everything went, worked out. Okay, I've got the switch out of the actual alarm clock and you can get a better idea of what's going on here. As you can see, the tab is snapped on that side. A little cheap piece of plastic, but... I'm just going to end up gluing this down. Hopefully that takes care of it, because the contact on this side look, doesn't look bad. It doesn't look like it's worn out too much, so I think this may live another day. And I'm just going to end up gluing it with uh, just a regular hot glue gun. Okay, so I've made the repair on the switch. I've actually hot glued it, as you can see. Now it's I glued it all the way around from side to side and over the top. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to go too far too high over it. You just want the glue to go all the way around so uh, if the glue breaks away from the back it won't lift off again. The glue will actually hold the whole thing. So and you don't want it too high so the contacts won't reach, you know, won't, the glue won't interfere with the contacts reaching the board. So just a thin layer of glue across the top and over the sides. And that should work. So I'm going to put this back in and we'll, uh, yeah, I'm going to clean
clean up that board just a little bit that it make, mates with and we'll see how it works out. I've already bent the tabs up just a hair on the uh, on the switch so maybe it'll, it'll, it'll definitely make contact now. Okay I've got the alarm clock all back together and I think the, the job is a success. I actually threw some grease on the back side of the switch where it mates the two plastic pieces so it gets a little bit more of a uh, uh, an easier feel. So let's try it out. Oh, nice, nice. It clicks now. On, off, on, off. So it's beautiful. That's that's nice, nice feedback on it. It doesn't feel like it's uh, you know loose and intermittent anymore. So that's good. Well, that that was an easy repair, and uh, I just wanted to throw these little simple repairs out there every once in a while. So you know maybe those little items that you have around the house uh, don't deserve to go into the barrel quite so fast. So, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like what you see, and we'll uh, catch you in the next video.